We all know that saving pictures in JPEG will save us a lot of hard drive space. But have you ever wondered how JPEG works? Why can we convert an image format to another, making it significantly smaller in file size without much quality loss? Well, there are two main categories of all compression methods, lossless and lossy compression. Typical JPEG standard is a lossy compression, which means we can throw away some less important information and most people will notice it. And that's what I'm going to talk about. First of all, does lossy compression mean that we need to make the image smaller in size or to crop the image? If you are thinking like that, you are still playing with the X and Y dimensions. That's not what we are talking about when we're discussing lossy compression. Actually, apart from X and Y, we can use another dimension, that is, quality. In the regular image where data are stored pixel by pixel, the data for all pixels are equally important, so there is no less important component at all. We cannot throw away any of the pixels. One of the core operations JPEG does is to apply discrete cosine transform to every block of 8 times 8 pixels. I'm not going to tell the whole story here, but in brief, discrete cosine transform is a sort of mathematic method that converts a sequence of data to frequency domain. Now, some of the data appear more important than others, because human eye is not so good at noticing high frequency brightness variation. Therefore, we can use much lower accuracy to store high frequency components and save some bits. You might be confused by the terms such as high frequency and low frequency here. What do they mean for pictures? Generally speaking, the smoother an image is, the more low frequency component it has. Images like blue sky, white cloud, etc. usually have most information in low frequency. So compression method like JPEG is ideal for photographs and paintings of realistic scenes, but it may not be as well suited for line joints and text where the sharp contrast between adjacent pixels cause a lot of high-frequency components. And that's the short story about how JPEG works. Thanks for watching.